Happy New Year and welcome to 2022. I'm Dr. Karen Gray, Superintendent of the Lincoln County School District. Today marks the end of our first week back from winter break, and I hope you have settled back into routines and connections with your classes and our school community. To mark the beginning of this year, I wanted to read a new poem by Amanda Gorman. She is the 23-year-old poet whose reading of her own, The Hill We Climb, made her an international sensation at President Joe Biden's inauguration. This poem is called The New Day's Lyric. It's a little long, but hang in there. It's worth it. May this be the day we come together. Morning, we come to mend. Withered, we come to weather. Torn, we come to tend. Battered, we come to better. Tethered by this year of yearning, we are learning that through that though we were, weren't ready for this, we have been readied by it. Steadily we vow that no matter how we are weighed down, we must always pave a way forward. This hope is our door, our portal. Even if we never get back to normal, someday we can venture beyond it to leave the known and take the first steps. So let us not return to what was normal, but reach towards what is next. What was cursed, we will cure. What was plagued, we will prove pure. Where we tend to argue, we will try to agree. These fortunes we foreswore, now the future we foresee. Where we weren't aware, we're now awake. Those moments we missed are now those moments we make. The moments we meet and our hearts, once altogether beaten, now altogether beat. Come, look up with kindness yet, for even solace can be sourced from sorrow. We remember, not just for the sake of yesterday, but to take on tomorrow. We heed this old spirit in a new day's lyric. In our hearts, we hear it. For old Lang Syne, my dear. For old Lang Syne. Be bold, sang time this year. Be bold, sang time. For when you honor yesterday, tomorrow you will find. Know what we fought need not be forgot, nor for none. It defines us, binds us as one. Come over, join this day, has just begun. For wherever we come together, we will forever overcome. Forever overcome. Isn't that powerful? I appreciate the imagery and hope found in this poem. And from me to you, let's make 2022 the best year yet. Share love and kindness. Let's create the kind of compassionate community we all want to live in and thrive. Bye for now.